Let me ask all of you managers and entrepreneurs out there, who loves to do paperwork? Nobody loves it. All companies all over the world, they struggle with it. And administration, there's huge amounts of it. There's employee contracts, there are leases, there's insurance, there's uh, board meeting minutes. And all of this stuff is critical. You have to have it. You need it for audit, you need it for due diligence. And you might think that your accountant can help with this. And they would probably love to, but they don't have the tools to do it. So what we have built is a platform that the SMEs can create these documents for themselves. So they become legally correct. Or they can call up their accountant and say, that, hey, please help us with this. And better yet, the accountant keeps track of what all, what all is going on and can call the customer up and say, that, hey, we can help you with this. So for the accountant, this is a new revenue stream. And at the same time, they tie their customers loyal, more loyal to them. Now, they desperately need this new uh, revenue because automation is chewing away on their top line. Now, for the smaller company, they get all the paperwork in order all the time. Now, here's a few examples. We visualize your year. So we drop in your board meetings, all the admin that you want to do. Or the accountant does it for you. We automate the generation of all complicated documents, not the high-end, difficult M&A stuff, but all those basic stuff that you have to get done but are pretty simple to solve. And for the accountant, we, they get a view of what is going on and what is not. So they can call you up and say, hey, now you need some help, let us do it. Administration is a huge business. In the EU alone, this is an 8 billion euro market. This is a blue ocean as well, because we don't have a system that the accountants use at the moment. So we're not replacing anything. Our revenue model is free for the companies. But the basic subscription is something that the accountant pays, a small sum. When we get into more complicated stuff, like board reporting and due diligences, then the companies pay a little fee. But the biggest cake is for us when the accountant gets new revenue, because then we get a little slice of the deal there. We have traction. We have 101 paying customers. We have three partners that give access to their customers. We have a kick-ass team. We did an angel round, so we have good investors and good advisors on board. And now we're raising 500,000 for further development. We're going to leverage it, of course. Uh, especially focusing on the onboarding of new customers, sales, and some development of the product as well. Thank you. And thank you, Rasmus. Thank you. Time for the questions. Hi. So you're raising 500K. Yes. Um, in the newsletter from Fibon that I received today says you're raising 250. So yes. who's, you just upped it. You doubled it. Now that I said leveraged, so we hope to get uh, half of that from okay, Tekes cool, or, I or something. Right. Yeah, sorry. Very good. The next one. Are you th sure that accountants are the most tech-savvy partners for you? Have you considered working with some of the, I mean, law firms? I've, I've seen some of them who are actually quite advanced in, in use, the use of IT, and they already have some services like this. I've considered it, yes. We have a natural avenue because we already have a partner network there. Uh, but these are very basic stuff for a, for a law firm. So I'm not sure how interested they are, but definitely in the Swedish market, it's the other way around. Law firms do the more basic stuff as well. So definitely, yes. I mean, many law firms would like to have a subscription, like a recurring revenue type of uh, business model. And this, I mean, there are some cases, for instance, in Finland, where uh, lawyers are doing that already. And some of the, the, accountant, the accountants don't want to do stuff like this. In that case, yes, it's the revenue for somebody else, which is most probably a, a law firm. Uh, two, two, two quick questions. So one, you know, how, how automated is the, is the kind of document creation piece? And two, where are you getting the content from? So are you partnering with law firms to make sure that even the board minutes are like, you know, legally binding and everything's correct? So how much does it have to be tailored each time? And then the second one, where are you getting the content? Yeah, so we have law, uh, legal help on board. So that's part of the team. Uh, most of this is, is it's, again, it's basic stuff. It's 80% that does, does like all of, 
most of it. So an employment contract in most cases is very simple. So yes, we fill in the details of the law stuff, and then you have like the name and whatnot that is missing. And we can tailor that for each market and for each language. So it's separate from the platform itself. And those parts that are more complicated, they are separated out, and it goes to the law firm. They can comment it, correct it, and it comes back in, and it's a part of the contract or part of the board meeting minutes. Are you going to rate the supplier's quality control? Oh, that would be so nice. But we need to get some more of them first. But yes, that would, that would be very nice. So to integrate with DocuSign or HelloSign or those kind of platforms, or do you have your own digital signature platform? Uh, no, we integrate, yes. And the problem is that we would like to use the Finnish system, but that simply does not work outside. So, so yeah, so we're not, we're not going to go there. Can you just elaborate a bit more on where you're going to take yourself with this funding and sort of where do you see yourself, how far can you go with this, with yeah. this funding? Yeah, Ob obviously we, we need to develop the product as well, but I think the biggest issue for, for market entry in this is getting over the empty table issue. So if you log in and there's nothing there, then you get a feeling that you have to do everything. So we want to do a very extremely good onboarding when we sort of open it to everybody. So now we do the onboarding by hand. Could you tell us a little bit more about yourself and your team and how you sort of stumbled upon this problem? Yeah, so I'm a serial entrepreneur. I have done one exit. Uh, Ansi, who's our CTO, has 15 years of uh, fintech architectural experience. And then we have lots of support from different areas and we have a few coders on team as well. And what about the kind of international expansion? Is this going to be kind of jurisdiction specific because of the laws of each jurisdiction? No. No, yeah. The stuff will be, it is, but that's content. So we have to change the language, of course, and we also have to change the judicial system, which is, but we're already doing that. We already have three, three languages, and we're now looking at uh, Stockholm. We have some partners there, so and that's the next you. step. And thank you. Very interesting discussion, gentlemen, but we have to move thank on. You. Thank you, Rasmus.